Okay, this is January 7th, 2014, and we go from aphids to now we have fungus mold. It's one of the same uh, on the tomato leaves. So, uh, the best approach, we think, is get all these leaves off. Um, these are older plants, and they are just saying it's time to call it a day with some of this. So, um, down here, this is quite healthy. What's really strange about these plants is there's other shoots that's coming off of the really sick uh, looking plant. And see, this doesn't have any, any problem. So it might be kind of like the same thing. It's the same thing with like strawberry plants. Um, the older ones, you know, you get rid of the older uh, plants and let the, the new ones um, do do their thing. Now I think this is pretty cool. Um, this was the old part of the tomato plant that basically just crumbled up. Here's like a little piece of, of uh, the leaves that was left on it. But basically it's just kind of a stick. But what it's doing, it's supporting the new growth that has come down here off of this base of this old, worn out um, tomato plant. So there's the new growth. I just find that pretty interesting. So, uh, it's happening on the different plants where you have, there's the flowering new growth on this plant. And it's got this really, really thick stalk but as you go on up uh, to the top of it, it uh, it's pretty sick looking on up at the top. Okay, my husband, he's got a little practice run going here. Um, he's going to try his luck at a rocket stove. Uh, so right now he's just got them stacked to get some idea of, of how he's going to do, uh, do that. So that's what he's done so far with his trial, trial prep. I find this pretty interesting. I really pruned, I heavily pruned this because it was really, really sick looking and it had the aphids and it was just in bad shape. So I just went ahead and I gave it like some major, major pruning. So now these leaves that's coming out now, they're not disease looking. Well, that has a little bit of a boo-boo, but uh, they, they look pretty good in comparison to the way they were. Uh, and it's got this little top notch up here that's looking pretty good. So I pruned this. I heavily pruned this one too. And I just think it's going to come back, uh, hopefully. So, um, these are looking somewhat, somewhat better. But see, here again is all of these bugs. It's, it's on there, or the eggs on this one. I just hate to see it, and there's more. So, it's going to be a long winter. But I will have to say that the kale is doing well. Okay, it's nine degrees outside and it's a sunny day at 69.6. So the sun is warming up the greenhouse today because we have it set for 60, uh, 65. My husband's having trouble with the shallow well pump. Uh, it's not doing doing that well so he's got to figure out a way to kind of um, up the pressure on that. Uh, little seedlings are coming up in the raised bed and the um, beet greens uh, they're really doing well. Uh, I've got to take some <coughs> over today 
because I've missed them for breakfast. I didn't have them the last few days for breakfast, and I have missed them. So there they are. They are looking pretty These healthy. poor little uh, pepper plants, they were in uh, these trays, like these moonflowers down here. And um, some of them was just like little sticks. And this has actually got a little bloom on it. And they're actually, in, in the shape they were in, you would not think they could have possibly come back. Even the ones, you know, didn't have one stitch of a leaf over here in this far corner. They're actually getting tiny little leaves on them. So he's got them planted in this these window boxes, and I think they're just plain grateful. So they're gonna they're gonna try to do something.